Pat, you want to update me on all the challenges that you've done so Bruh. far? <laughs> so, the first one I got my... What's up guys, it's your boy Pat. I got my friends Kyle and Emily and we're just gonna do another full sim video. Today's episode is on attitude. Having the right attitude, especially in this game. So, <laughs> before we get started with that, Sam, take us to that Bible report. What's going on guys, it's your boy Sam. And in this Bible report, we'll be coming from Philippians chapter two, verses number 14 to 15. And it says, do all things without grumbling or disputing that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. But one of the biggest things is we have to change our attitude. Now, I know we all had that moment with mom and dad or just mom or dad, where we're just there and they're like, I need you to clean the dishes. And he's just like, I don't wanna clean the dishes. Nah, you can't, you can't be like that. You can have that feeling, the feeling is fine, but your attitude towards the feeling, that's not okay. That, 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 no, no, you just don't do that. All in all is that do everything as if you're reflecting Christ, reflecting love, and reflecting grace. All right, y'all, back to the studio. Let's get started with the game. So, Logan, you're back with us, bro. Tell What's us up, about man? how this goes, man. Hey, so if you've been following along uh, with the youth page, uh, we've been doing these challenges, these games every week, and I it's the highlight of my week to be here because I don't have to do any of the challenges. I just get to decide. I have unanimous power on deciding who loses. So it's been a treat. But uh, if you haven't watched uh, any of these videos before, what we do is we present each person on the couch, all three of them with a scenario. They have 30 seconds to respond to that scenario. At the end, we choose a loser. So each scenario has a correct answer, which is like the main idea of how we believe you should biblically or like as a Christian respond to each scenario. And so we are looking for the person who responds and lines up with that main idea. But really, we're looking for the person that doesn't do that. <laughs> so the person who loses each scenario has to do a full send challenge. Yep. Okay, so how those work is you will be presented with a challenge. Now, you can either do that and full send that challenge, or you could take an alternative. If you choose to even hear the alternative, you don't get to go back and do the first challenge. You have to do the alternative. So. Yeah. With that being said, are you guys ready for the first scenario? Yes! Yeah. Let's do it, let's do Attitude it. Attitude is everything, yes. guys. <laughs> this in scenario number one, you are at Riot or youth group, and the sermon is taking too long. Everyone else is crying, I'm assuming because the, the sermon is just so good, but all you want to do is play octoball. What do you do? Uh, we're gonna give this response to Kyle first. Uh, 30 um, seconds on the clock. So, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I would probably just, I wouldn't get up and play Aqua because that one, that's just disrespectful. I would still sit, but I'd probably let my mind wander. I probably won't pay attention as much. I'll probably be on my phone. But if I'm just bored there, yeah, I probably will just be on my phone and letting my mind wander. Wouldn't go, actually go and play Aqua Ball. All right, so you want to lose this one. That's a rough answer. It is a rough answer. Kyle just set the bar very low, so let's go to Pat next. Let's see how you do on this one, bro. All right, well, what I would do is that I would change my attitude about it um, and not think about uh, being bored and not even think about uh, wanting to play octoball because, like, to be honest with you, like, Rise has been, like, a fun environment. So, like, I know when I'm walking into it that I'm going to have time to hang out with my friends. I'm going to hear music and I'm going to probably see Sam playing the guitar and being like Sam like. Uh, then I'm going to probably hear a message from Emily and she'll probably make me do a challenge uh, about bettering myself and I'll just realize that there's something impactful about that moment. And then when she says like, okay, now you are free to do whatever you want to do, I know I can go with my friends and play out the ball. So it's just having the right attitude and just knowing that each thing has its place in time and right and that I'm going to get to the thing that I want to do. So I'm just going to try to be in the moment. Oh Emily, how would you respond to this scenario? I would probably find an adult leader that I like, get up, and go ask them if we could talk. 
so that I could not sit there and distract the other kids and connect with a leader, but uh, still disconnect myself a little bit from the uh, sermon that I'm not trying to engage with. Honestly, if I was that age. Gosh, you guys are being honest. I was looking for, if you would have said one word, I would have given it to you over Pat, who obviously had the, better, the best answer. So Pat definitely uh, wins that what round. Word? The word was patience. If you would have said I would oh. have, I would have patiently. If either of you said patient, I would have given it to you over that. Anyway, I mean, I think the room can figure out who had the worst answer to that that scenario. I think the person on the couch knows. Yeah. So Kyle, <laughs> let's do it. Kyle, you legit said you pull out your cell phone. So here's your challenge. You could put whipped cream. Uh, on your eyebrows and then make a Santa beard out of whipped cream. Oh. Or you could do an alternative. I want to do that. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. All right. Logan, may I ask, what was the alternative? What, what, was, what was the alternative? What was the alternative? Uh, put whipped cream throughout your entire hair. The reason, you want to know why I answered so honestly? <laughs> I You're answered so... <laughs> uh, gravity oh. is, is going to be your friend. Did you want to... Did you want to... <laughs> oh, this is gonna, this is gonna, oh, <laughs> neck beard. All right, here, here it is. You're at home. You are already washing the dishes, thinking it's gonna be such a great surprise for your mom. Your mom then calls you and demands that you wash the dishes and that they better be clean when she gets home or else. What would you do in that scenario? I'm gonna start with Kyle, just so he stops eating his beard. I'm sorry, can you repeat this? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with Emily. Um, I think that my first reaction would probably be, how was your day? Are you okay? Why, why, is, why are you so hostile so quick? So I would, I would check on her. And then I would be like, if there's no reason that she, like, she didn't have a bad day, be like, okay, I'm doing the dishes, I'm gonna get off the phone now so I don't get myself in trouble. And if she did have a bad day, then I'd be like, all right, let's unpack that a little bit. All right. Kyle, do you have a grasp of what the scenario is? Yeah, I got it. All right, know. go ahead. I got it now. So what I would do is, if she called, if my mom called me and was like, do the dishes now, I would just say, mom, don't worry, I'm already doing the dishes and continue doing the dishes. And then I would also just dry them, put them away, and just tidy up the kitchen while I'm at it too. And then she'll come home, extra. throw in a little extra, and, and I'd do it gladly, because I was already planning on doing it out of the kindness of my heart, so mm. just keep doing it. All right, that's a good answer. So, Pat. So I think that, um, I've, I've had that actually happen before with my mom, because you know, like life has just been hectic and crazy, she was being a teacher. Um, the moment that it happened, I remember, I noticed that like my attitude how I said it was gonna dictate how the rest of the night went. And so, um, just out of respect for my mom, I was like, yes, yes ma'am, why not? And so I just did what I needed to do. Um, and then kind of like what Kyle said, kind of like do a little bit extra, but like not just with the dishes, but like it, the house just looks dirty and I'll just kind of clean it. And then just kind of like when she gets home and she's able just to be in a safe place, I get to just ask her like, hey, look, listen, are you good? Cause like we had that relationship. And if it was one of those things that she said, Stop. <laughs> Did you read the main idea for this scenario? I promise you I did not. Because you legit just said part of it verbatim. The main idea says your response will dictate the rest of your night. And he said that. I do not know how he would have been able to say it. that. I promise I'm I didn't not... read it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me just say this, okay? Because Emily definitely had the worst answer. But something else came out, and I'm gonna leave it up to the four people that we have helping me produce this episode right now. Because Pat, like Emily said, had three strikes against him. He, he stole M's answer at the end by saying he'd check on her when she got home. He stole Kyle's answer by, by saying basically what the right answer was. But then he said, legitimately said, the, the main idea on my sheet verbatim. I so. <laughs> What? It's, it's between it's Emily and Pat. Bro, I'll do it with him. I'll okay. do it with him. Okay, is it, okay. Is it the time? This challenge is actually perfect. So for this, there will be no alternative. Emily, pick a number between one and two. Two. Okay, that was not the right choice. Uh, you're gonna be eating three Oreos that have mayo between them. 
And Pat, you are going to be eating three Oreos that have toothpaste be between them. I'm going to count you down from five. Wait a minute. Four. Can we? Three. <laughs> two. two. Pat, put your Oreo down by your bowl. One. Go. Oh, that's. How's mayo? How's the mayo? I feel like the toothpaste is Pat, better. Toothpaste is way better than mayo. Yeah. She chose two, dude. I don't know. Toothpaste might be harder oh. to, to oh, eat, though, swallow. because it's yeah. so sticky. <laughs> Just don't power through. Power through. Yeah, don't look at him. Give him the hand. <laughs> Yo, what, Pat's breath smells What's your so attitude good. right now, Pat? You have a good attitude, right? It's Pat, so thick. how many more do you have? Two. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> dude. All right. I, I did notice that you threw away your Oreos. I will get you back for that later. Uh, we still have one more scenario. All right. You are getting yelled at by your parents, and you are trying so hard sitting there and just trying to be respectful. But they, when they look at you, they feel like you're being disrespectful, so they go in on how you're being disrespectful while they're yelling at you. What do you do? I'm gonna start with Kyle. I would, in my head, I'm already trying to be respectful. So I'm just gonna keep on with that. And like, I'll take, they're my parents. So I'm gonna have to take whatever they give me anyways. So I'm gonna do my best like I was to just continue to be respectful as much as I can and just take what they're yelling at me for because I mean, they're my parents. I can't defy them. All right, that's a pretty good answer. So Pat, do you wanna go now or last? I will go now. Okay, go ahead. So basically, um, I don't know. I believe that perception is key. And so if it looks like I'm being disrespected and being disrespectful to my parents, I'll just tell them honestly, say, like, I'm sorry that that's what is coming off. Let me fix my, <laughs> like, let me just fix it. Let me fix my attitude, even if that's not what I'm intentionally showing, just because I understand that if I, if their perception changes and they know that, okay, He's just being respectful and he's listening to what we have to say to him. Then it just flows through better and then we're just able to get through that night. So perception is key. I don't know how he keeps doing that. I promise you, I haven't looked I at it. I'm just I know, being I know, honest. I know. I want to believe you so bad. I'm being honest. But it literally says, look from their perspective on my sheet. Did you? No. I don't know what no, happened. No, I did not. Literally, what happened? Jalen said, print it off. I was like, okay, here. I put them down on that. You just got yourself just, in so much more trouble. No, no, you just said print, and I just you put it on the seat. Them? I didn't look at them. Um, yeah. Just go. So I would probably respond um, the by fixing my attitude and seeing, like, I, I know about myself that my face looks a certain way, and I don't mean for it to, so I'm... So I'm sure that's happening right now. I'm sorry, I'm gonna fix my face. I didn't mean to. Please tell me again when I start to do that again. I don't wanna disrespect you. All of you guys had really, really good answers. The problem- But Pat's a cheater. I, Pat isn't cheating, that's the- Pat, <laughs> here's what we're gonna do, okay? Because, because, because now this is between me and you, okay? <laughs> And I, no, 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 listen, I feel, no, I feel bad. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna tell you both the, f the first challenge and I'm gonna tell you the second, okay? So I'm gonna let you choose which one you wanna do. All right, so the last challenge is you could either drink a full cup of sriracha or you could eat a habanero pepper. What do you, what do you choose? All right, you have 10 seconds to decide, 10. Nine, eight, don't do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Is that, are you choosing Sriracha? I'm gonna try good. Okay, because I love you so much, You're so I'm, I'm gonna do what you chose not to do and I'm gonna come on camera and eat the habanero pepper. All right? I want you to know the habanero pepper is the spiciest pepper you can buy in retail stores. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, Pat, uh, Pat, look uh, in my eyes. Look at me. Water on deck. I'm Do sorry, water but I, I just think you cheated, bro. Right now, if I if I died in this moment, I would ask Jesus, did Pat actually cheat in this full sentence? I hope we get to know. Water's on the way. Water's, Three, water's on deck. two, Man, come on. one. Oh, my life choices. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, the whole You've done thing. worse. You've done worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pat, can you show us your cup when you're done? 
It's so hot. Get it. <laughs> this is not. Dude, at first it wasn't that hot. I yeah, thought you yeah. bought the wrong peppers and I got so pumped. <laughs> <laughs> and then it hit all at once. You Can got I get it. another bottle, please? Woo! Logan's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, this is, is so hot. He is actually sweating. This is literally so hot. I don't Do you like... want to try habanero? If you would not have thrown away your Oreos, there might be sympathy here, but we are not allowed to legally because you cheated. Legal. A little sriracha sauce legally. on my finger. I want to know Wait, what he's going for, through. For real though, if you would have reminded me that he threw away his Oreos, <laughs> you would have made him do both. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have done it. I know that. I don't know if I'd have made him do both, but I wouldn't be here. Ugh. Um, here's the. I'm dying. Uh, here's the bottom line. Uh, you can't always control uh, your emotions, but you can control how you respond to those emotions. So whether you're angry or sad or upset, you can uh, you can control how you act those things out. And uh, our hope is that you would do those in a Christ-like, Christ-centered way. Um, but again, we can't always do it by ourselves. So make sure you have a good, solid community around you oh. as you're going through emotions. Um, and uh, reach out to your adult leaders or friends and stuff like that if you're going through something. So that's what we have for you guys. Please make sure on behalf of all of us and my on fire mouth right now, like, subscribe. Um, and we'll see you in, I think, the last Full Send video next week. Yep. Yes, we all will. Right. We love, love you. Guys. Love you all. Box. Do you see that? So, the you could full send taking all of those in your hand and eating them. Or you could do an alternative.